Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, founder and creator of SelectorServe. Request you to please subscribe to the channel if you are new here so that you don't miss any upcoming update and innovation. Thank you. So you know that in the free version, we can generate the access based X path relative to other elements. So that is already done. But we have taken a step further and in the pro version, you can even further generate this access based X path very smartly and just in like one click there you have to put a lot of effort to generate the access based x path so let me show you how quickly and how smartly you can we can do it here so just click on inspect button here go to selector sub pro so there's an access button here you can see that so if we have to suppose generate the access, uh, I mean, we have to generate X path for, let's say for an example, we have to generate for courses with respect to products. So what you do, you click on access method here, access button. So one way is that you, uh, it is asking to inspect the parent first and then child. So you can click on this inspector and inspect first that element with respect to which you want to generate. So here it is products. And it is asking you to inspect the child. Child is basically the final element for which you want to generate the X path. So here we want to generate for courses. So click on this. So here you see that it has generated X path for courses with respect to products. So this is one approach. But here the thing is that you have to click two times on this inspector. Like first you like suppose for an example, we want to generate X path for email field with respect to this user email label. First we click here. And inspect this and then click here and then inspect this okay this is fine but we have optimized this further you will not have to do click again and again here but yes this is one approach you can do this way now let's do something really smart here use the inspector of selector hub pro click on this inspector button and now you see suppose we want for courses with respect to products first inspect products then inspect courses and there you go suppose you want for password field with respect to password label so first click here and then click here and you see that password x path for password is generated with respect to this password label we want for enter email with respect to user label so first inspect this and then inspect this so this is how you can generate X path related to other element very smartly and very easy easily so if you want to use the attribute filter while generating the selectors relative selectors X path here relative X path so you can set the attribute as well like here it is generating with placeholder and if you want with some other attribute like here it is suppose name is there and we want to generate with name so what you can do click here attribute filter so you can set the value here like let's say you want to generate with name so you can pass the name attribute and now you can inspect the element here so again inspect this let's say uh, we inspect first this and then we inspect this so it has generated with name so this way you can generate relative or access based x path with a particular attribute as well if you want to generate them with the command yes you can do that just uh, turn on this command feature and suppose this is your command you can of course like you can uh, refer other video where i have explained how to use all these things so it's very simple you just have to turn on this and then generate the x path like let's say with this one and here you see that we got with the command now if you want to copy this you simply click on this copy button and go back to your editor and you can paste the value and enjoy it so this is how you can generate the relative x path uh, relative to other element access based x path related to other element at you can use the attribute feature you can use the command feature like you want with this thing you can i mean select that one before generating so yes that all you can do it here and if you don't want you can turn it off and all here you will see that what is this value this is the previously generated access based x path so sometimes it can happen that like you started generating a new x path here or you inspected some elements so you will lose that one here so don't worry the previous one will be saved here so you can anytime check and at any point of time like it is asking you to inspect the child and you want to reset you want to first uh, 
inspect the parent you basically you want to change the parent so in that case how to reset these values you click on this access button and click back again the value will be reset now you can inspect any parent whichever you want and then you can inspe start inspecting the values so this is how you can use this feature to generate the access based x path relative to other element at any point of time and if you face any challenges if there will be future update in this uh, feature then you can always refer this tutorial here the link is already given here so always check out the tutorial if you ever forget how to use this feature if you want to add it or you want to do something in this x path you just click on this edit button it will copy and paste the value here and then you can play around that value and you can add it or update anything on that you want to go back to home screen click back and you are here so this is how you can use the access based access feature of like generating the access based x path from selector sub pro very easily let me just one last time show you how you can do that click on this uh, let's say we want to generate x path for this uh, any anything like let's say we want for enter password with respect to password just click anywhere open selector sub pro and then uh, click on this access button select this inspect button inspect the first element with uh, respect to which you want to generate then inspect the element for which you want to generate and there you go you can click here anywhere to copy this value you can click on copy icon and copy this value got copied and you can put it in your uh, editor and use it so this is how you can use the access feature of selector sub pro thank you i hope you like this feature and this will help you guys a lot to save a lot more time and generate the uh, relative x path other, relative to other element very easy and smartly do let me know if you need any feature update or any suggestion on this and let me know how you are using how much you are enjoying these incredible feature and innovation and please like share and let others know about this incredible innovation selector sub pro and help others to save their time thank you thank you so much